God, you who is not fine, don't worry. You're going to be all right. Just believe in God and you'll be okay. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your love and support. I know it is due to the love and the good work that I do. That is why you always come back here. For the new ones, you're also welcome. Please don't leave this channel without subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Guys, I cannot imagine life without love because love is very important to our lives and everyone deserves to be loved, but not only loved, truly loved. So what are the important things that you need to know before you start looking for that true love? Let us start our video right away. <laughs> Point number one, before you start looking for that true love, you need to love yourself truly because when you love yourself truly then you know what true love means you'll be able to love others and other people will learn to love you they will love you because you are a loving person you are a positive person because a person who loves himself or herself is a positive person nobody wants to fall in love with a person who doesn't love herself or himself it will also help you when you start a relationship to never forget yourself. You always love yourself. I've seen a lot of relationship ending and you listen to a person saying, now I love myself. Now I know who I am. Or they say, I want to find myself. I want to love myself first. So don't be that person. Find love in yourself first, then look for that true love. Point number two, before you start looking for that true love, you need to analyze your past mistakes from your past relationships. Why those relationships failed? Where did you go wrong? What is your part? What part did you play that made that relationship to end? When you know those mistakes, you will learn from them. You won't repeat the same mistakes because when a relationship ends, it is not always the fault of that one person or that one part. You have a part that you played too that led to the relationship failing. So you need to know what are those mistakes and learn from them. Example, you started a relationship with a man and this man is a cheater. He always cheats, but he told you he will change and you believed he's going to change. But a cheater will always be a cheater. He will never change. He marries you, he continues to cheat. And then you say, this man is a cheater. But you knew it from the start that he was cheating. You saw it, you accepted it. So you have a part that you played of accepting a cheater to marry you. So if that relationship fails, then you are responsible too. So you need to learn from those mistakes. Analyze them. Think, where did I go wrong? Why did that relationship fail? Was I too nice? Or uh, did I believe in this man so much that I went to bed with him so fast? What are those mistakes? So you need to ask yourself and when you know those mistakes, learn from them you will never repeat the same mistakes. You will start your relationship afresh and you will be careful. <laughs> Point number three, you really need to forget your past relationships. Forget them and move on completely because a lot of people have been making this mistake. They are in a relationship, but they still live in the past by bringing their past into the future. You find a man comparing you to the ex. All the time talks about the ex. Or you find a girl talking about his, her ex. Ex this, ex this, ex this, ex that. It's not good because when you find that true love and you start bringing your ex into present, then that true love that you found might go away because a person gets tired. We need to live in the future. We need to live our lives. Why should we talk of the past? Why should we think of the past? 
forget about the past and move on. Then start a new beginning, a fresh, pure one. <laughs> Point number four, before you start looking for that true love, you need to accept to be loved and give a chance to be loved. A lot of people have been making this mistake when they start a relationship, <laughs> they are saying they have found true love, but they don't want to open their heart. Their heart is still closed. They have not moved on. Like I said, you need to move on. So you find they have not moved on. So everything that a person does to show love, they're like, no, maybe he will be or she'll be like the other girl that betrayed me or the other guy that betrayed me. And when a person tries so hard to show you true love, but you can't still see that, you can't give back the love that the person is giving you, then that person will give up eventually and you will lose true love. You will not find true love. So you really need to give a chance for a person to show you how much he loves you or she loves you. You need to give that chance. You need to accept be positive take a risk because if you don't take that risk of accepting how will you know that this is true love so give a person a chance give a person time you cannot just know that a person truly loves you just like this it needs time give it a time because if a person is lying you will know it won't take so long eventually you will find out that a person does not love you truly. I want to give, so I want to give you an example of a woman that I know that was really like close, doesn't want to open up, doesn't want to give time to a person to know her, to show her how much he truly loves her. So this girl was seeing a guy for some time, like three months, and this guy was good. She was telling me the guy is good and I think he's, he's the right one, but I still have doubts. I told her, why? She told me, you know what happened to me in the past. I'm still scared. So she went to visit this guy and when she went to his house for the first time, unfortunately, she found underwears of a woman in the closet of that guy <laughs> and she called me she was like you know what it's the end i don't want this guy anymore he is a cheater he is seeing other women and i'm going to leave him i was like you have just started you don't know this guy much what was the explanation to that what did he say about that and she told me oh he said that it, it, it will, it, they are the underwears of the ex. Then I told her, so if he said it is the underwears of the ex, why can't you just believe it? He said, no, 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 no. I cannot believe that. He's seeing someone else. <laughs> yes, he told me that he's going to throw away those underwears right away, but still I don't trust him. I told her, give him the chance. Give him the chance. Yes, you need to be careful, but give him the chance to show you that it's true. Those underwears were of the ex because if he is still seeing that woman, then eventually you will find out because you're seeing each other. You talk, you visit each other. You will find out. So just take it easy. And she accepted to listen to me. And in the end, that guy married her. It's true. They were of the ex. They were not of the present person that maybe he was cheating on her. No, it wasn't. So you need to give chance to a person to show you how much he loves you or how much she loves you. Point number five, which is really important to know before you start looking for that true love is to never be desperate. Never be desperate to look for true love. Because when you are desperate, you do things without thinking. It is that desperacy you have in yourself that will push you to do things. You will see things in a different way. So when you are desperate, you need to find a man so fast. 
when you're desperate you need to get married so fast when you're desperate you need to have children so fast because you are desperate you will take anyone because you are desperate like that you won't find true love you really need time you really need to calm down concentrate on the things that you really enjoy to do enjoy if you enjoy working work so hard if you have hobbies that you really like to do do those hobbies mix yourself with positive people enjoy life and that true love will locate you but if you concentrate on finding true love find, i need to find true love i need to find true love then it will not happen just calm down do other things i want to give you an example of me guys <laughs> i had a lot of breakups and it reached at a point i told god that you know what god i have given up <laughs> i will not look for love if that true love will come to me i'll say thank you god but if if it doesn't come to me then that's okay i'll still be happy because i'm not the first one to be single in the world no <laughs> so i was calm i was happy i was enjoying my work and guess what happened guys I got a call from my friend telling me all about this Italian guy, you know, and here I am. I found true love. So you really need to calm yourself. Concentrate on other things. Of course, I haven't said that if a guy comes, then you say, no, 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 I'm concentrating on other things. I'm not looking for true love. No, of course, you give him a chance. Like I said, give a person a chance to show you how much he loves you or she loves you. But don't be too desperate. Please, please, please. <laughs> Point number six, which is also important, you need to know before you start looking for that true love, is to be ready to make sacrifices. There is no love without making sacrifices. And because love is two-sided, don't expect the other side to do sacrifices and you know. So you need to be ready to take sacrifices. A good example is me also. Um, I'm a person who loves my country. I love my country so much. Home is home, guys. <laughs> Nobody can tell me otherwise. Home is home. I love my country so much. And the most important thing is my family. Family is everything, guys. When you are sad, you run to your family. When you are happy, you want to share the good news first to your family. So me making a very big sacrifice to come to italy was because of love i had to make that sacrifice it's not like i hate my country or i hate my family no i love them so much but i had to take this big sacrifice to come here live here alone with my husband i miss my family every day but i had to take the sacrifice because of love so before you find true love you be ready to take sacrifices. <laughs> Point number seven, which is the last one, because I want to talk more and more, but again, I don't want to take much of your time. I want this video to end. <laughs> so the last point is you need to believe true love exists. Because when you believe true love exists, it will come to you. But if you don't believe true love exists, then it might come to you and you lose it because you don't know if true love exists you don't believe true love exists but again you want to find true love but true love does not exist so you need to believe true love exists and it will come to you guys i can promise you this you will find that true love and when you find you will know it that this is true love Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you learned something out of this video, please don't forget to share with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy and learn something. Watch my other videos too. Don't forget to comment what you think. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel help me grow this channel help me grow our family please by subscribing
I love you so much guys you're always here in my heart always <laughs> let us meet in my next video ciao ciao